Hi guys, so I just tried out those uh, Maybelline products that I said I would try out and then uh, tell you guys about. Uh, there's all the makeup items that I got from Walgreens the other day. I don't know if you've seen my uh, Walgreens haul video already, but um, if you want a closer look at them, just check that out. But anyways, so I'm wearing the Superstay 10 Stain Gloss Lip Gloss from Maybelline. It's this one. And I'm wearing the Maybelline New York Eye Studio, this one. Oh, I guess I should tell you guys the color it is again. Uh, this one's Pink Punch. And this one is Pleasing Plum. And I'm also wearing the Maybelline New York Pure Stay Powder Foundation. And it's in the color Ivory. So let me move the camera so you guys can see what it looks like in the light. I don't know if I'm going to be all washed out because of the sun. But see, there's the eyes. And then the the lip gloss is pretty dark. Um, I don't recommend wearing a really bright or um, bold eyeshadow with a dark lip. It's either one or the other. Either have dark lips and a neutral eye or have um, a dark eye and neutral lips. But I just wanted to show you guys what they look like together. As for the um, lip gloss, it's okay. Like it smells like raspberries, but it's really sticky, and I don't recommend having a lip gloss that is also a stain. It should just be one or the other because it's it feels really sticking on my lips. I. I don't know. I don't know if it's like supposed to be moisturizing or something. And it's kind of messy and obviously if it's going to stain your mouth then why do you want it all over the place? And it also came off really easily. All I did was like wipe it off with a tissue and all of it mostly came off. There was like a little bit, like a hint of color, but I don't think it's going to last 10 hours. And then this um, powder foundation. I tried this out. The only thing, I mean, it goes on well and everything, but the only thing I didn't like about it is that I have some dry spots on my nose and it sticks to the dry spots, so I don't think this is like a good foundation for um, dry skin. I have combination skin, so sometimes it's oily, sometimes it's dry in different spots. Um, but I mean, overall it works well. I'm sure like once that little area heals, it'll be fine. And then for the um, eyeshadow, the eyeshadow was really pretty and it was pretty easy to put on. Um, the only thing is this luminizing top coat is like super sparkly. So like the glitter kind of falls all over the place. But I would just put that like on my lid, not like all around, well like, you know, from the lid to the eyebrow. I don't think you should put it on in that whole area, just on the lid. Um, but it would be, I think this would be really cute, like if you're going to go out to somewhere like fancy or... And I didn't actually use a sponge applicator. I do not like these little foam applicators. I think they're really crappy. So I just ended up using um, my MAC brushes that I have. I used a liner brush because it comes with this liner here, the V shape. And then I used like a fluffy blending brush. And I also just used like a regular eyeshadow brush, like that rounded domey one. And I think that's pretty much it. So that's everything. That those are all of the makeup products that I got from Walgreens. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And go ahead and uh, leave a comment down below. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye!